Uh, this was a flyover that was built in uh, 2012 and uh, not too old. And we've already seen a similar incident a few years back and now. Harish Ubadia getting us all those details. There's a problem with that line. We are quickly going to fix that. But Harish was pointing out how this flyover was uh, built back in 2010. Not very old because infrastructure projects at least have a shelf life of 25 to 30 years. And before that, if it comes down in a manner it has come down, uh, it is a huge question on the contractors who have built it, the government which awarded the contract, and was there any quality monitoring that was done. Harish is back with us on the broadcast. Harish, please go ahead. Well, this was a flyover built in 2012. Uh, it's not uh, too old. Uh, this is roughly around 10 years old. We've already seen one similar incident. The BBMP then did an inspection of the flyover, carried out works to rectify whatever damage was there. We already now see another incident. Uh, this is a gaping hole that's anywhere between uh, two to four feet in terms of width. You can see the road underneath as well. And if this is the kind of quality of work that you see in a flyover, which was built at a cost of 35 crore rupees in 2012, one can imagine what is the situation of other structures that have come up across the city. Remember, there are multiple flyovers that have happened uh, in this time gap. Uh, this was built by the Bangalore Development Authority. What one needs to point out here is the fact that this seems to be substandard work that's happened here. Uh, this is not part of a highway. This is the outer ring road, which is uh, in Sumanahalli. Uh, not too much traffic, it's just outer ring road traffic that one would see. And despite the fact that there have been uh, white topping work and other development works in the near vicinity, uh, still the flyover is in this condition now. Uh, mm -hmm. This raises questions on the quality of work. We've already seen one flyover in Bengaluru on Tumkur Road being uh, a part for heavy vehicle traffic because there are issues with the uh, with the quality of that flyover as well, the cable quality of that flyover. Now you're seeing another flyover where uh, you are seeing a massive hole in the middle of the road. Uh, this could have led to uh, a fatal accident. Thankfully, it hasn't happened. Yeah, but yeah. once again, exposing what is wrong with Bengaluru's infrastructure, it's, uh, it's problematic with the okay. planning. There are issues with the quality of work. And uh, it only proves once again that whether the VDA or the BBMP mm, who, mm. Uh, who carries out work, mm, mm. Uh, irrespective of which agency does it, yeah. uh, looks like there is corruption involved. Uh, there are Harisha, I, I want you to, I want you to stay with us on the broadcast. We're getting political voices. Sanket Yenagi of the KPCC is also joining us on the broadcast. Sanket Ji, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Um, once again, a story of urban neglect, corruption, and perhaps something that should have been fixed earlier by the municipal corporation. As the opposition leader, what do you say? From 2009 to 2013, BJP was in power. Now also from 2020 to 22, the BJP has been in power. BJP government in Karnataka especially is known for corruption and this is a result of corruption. The flyover is now suffering. In the year 2010, if the construction has been made, it is obviously with the corruption involvement and the BDA, even though it's a part and parcel of the government's machinery, and obviously the government must have given contract to someone who is beneficiary independently other than the BDA. Mm. So now, BDA, along with the BDA, the government which was in power then, which is as a result of the corruption, these things are happening. Government, the present BJP owes entire responsibility. It is liable and it has to be blamed. No one else. Hmm. Hmm. Sir, so in, in your understanding, this is about large-scale corruption within the BBMP or the corporation not doing its job properly or the, or the state of infra, urban infrastructure projects in our country where you build an infrastructure and it just crumbles within few years? It is not just that because the entire Bangalore Development Authority and the Board of Management therein was under the control of the BJP government. And BBMP was also under the control of the government. And now the contracts were given to the contractors who were very well known or part of the, the, the system of the BJP. So that being the case, we can directly make the BJP government responsible. It has to owe that responsibility. It has to rectify mm. it. Mm. And they can't blame anyone else. All right. Uh, Sanket thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. I'll cut across back to my colleague Harish Upadhyay, who continues to track the story. Harish, um, what exactly and in what manner should we hold the authorities accountable? Is this about the poor construction work that was done in the first place when it was constructed back in 2012? So it's been roughly 10 years. And this shouldn't have been the state, the, the images that we are putting out on the screen, what you're reporting. 
or is it about the proper work that should be done with each before each and every monsoon season and we have seen the mayhem that happened in the it capital of the country well remember every time uh, we see portal issues uh, on uh, the city roads the constant reply by the bbmp is that there is a issue of water logging there's the issue of uh, the rain water not getting uh, uh, getting away easily and stagnating on the road uh, thus creating potholes and it's not the issue with the the kind of asphalt that's used there but here it's a concrete structure that we are talking about and it's given away completely you can see the metal frame over there it's got nothing to be, do either with rain or water stagnation it's hmm. sheer poor hmm. quality of work that's been executed there and uh, remember when every time there is a portal issue there are question marks about the kind of uh, road infrastructure that's there the kind of uh, asphalt that's used and the kind of depth of it but here this looks more like a quality issue and uh, in portals we've seen the bbmp blaming various contractors and saying that uh, the locals are also responsible there was digging by various other civic agencies and ofc cable providers but in this particular case it's sheer poor quality of construction that's very evident over there and uh, remember as i mentioned there was a similar incident few years back on the same very flyover and the bbmp carried out repair works and then said this flyover is absolutely fine hmm. for uh, uh, road usage and hmm. is absolutely hmm. no other issue with quality and now you see on the very same flyover a similar incident happening again and it's Arish, not just this question i'm going to reiterate i'm going to reiterate what you just said that this is not about the proper monsoon work the work before each monsoon that you're supposed to do this is about poor construction quality so when the contracts were awarded whoever built this flyover and the agency that gave it of course the municipal authorities in this case they should figure out the levels of corruption and why the public exchequer money has been looted in this way thank you arish for getting us all those details shifting up